Yeah, well, it's interesting, like you said, the, the narrative has flipped. So should we be skeptical is the question. Figs and bombs. Hey, you ready, Julian? You're not, yeah. Remember how to do this? You're not on the street anymore, Timber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. hey guys, and welcome back to your future hound, Biggs and Boggs. I'm Marty Boggs. And I'm Julian Biggs. And we got Spencer on town and screens. Spencer. Thanks, thanks for joining us today, folks. We'd like to come at you once a week or so and share our journey through this transitioning world of finance and talk about some subjects that we believe will benefit your future hand, simply because it's been benefiting ours. So yes, folks, we are here to help and we believe it. So please help us by smashing that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. Let us know what you think and where you're from. And let's get right into it. What are we up to today and how can we plan for tomorrow? Who are you today? Julian? Julian. I'm Julian. Yeah, okay, Julian. Yeah, good to be back. We are going to get into the Marcus Gold in just a second here. we got a lot of things to talk about. The narrative is changing big time in the United States. Mainstream media, JP Morgan, BlackRock, all these people starting to switch the narrative. We're going to talk about that. But first, of course, as always, the Market Scope. Ooh, Market Scope. Okay, so I'm looking at the monthly here, and I've got uh, my older chart. So this was a chart, the Fibonacci levels that I was showing you earlier this year. Uh, and, and kind of where we've been bouncing around in between for the last few months. So you can see that the 38.2% FIB level was 27 381 and we spent a few months here you know we broke over that line caught it as support and we now tested the 50 percent fibonacci level which was around the 32 well it said 32 6 so we didn't quite get there we're in this major resistance and this is the major resistance that we've had for the last couple of years and it was mm -hmm. also the dropping point of the major dump last year so we had that support here in the bull run before our high and then some support here in the major drop and we're now fighting with that mm -hmm. uh, coming into this fib here so as resistance um you know good chance that we come down to these lower levels into the 28 you know or at least sub 30k again but uh you know there's also a chance that we catch the support well I'll just just look at what is that is that uh so we have pump spinning top pump yeah. spinning top yeah so it's like we kind of got something going here. Like we're almost, we had a dump and then pump. Yeah, let's go into the weekly here. So I think in history, July has been a very bullish month, yeah. which is usually odd because uh, July, August, you don't really see too much move in any markets really in general because it's yeah, summertime. Yeah, July, I think it was July 23rd, 2021 when it bounced off 28K and went to 60. I do remember, yeah, because um, it was Canada Day when we were making that transaction when you were trying to get me to uh, buy Bitcoin for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, happy Canada Day to anybody there who's Canadian. Uh, we missed you last week because of that, obviously. And uh, actually, a lot has changed since then. It's been insane. Actually, since, since July 1st, like you said, the narrative has flipped. So yeah. Scoping the market here, I'm thinking maybe it would make sense to come back down because there's going to yeah. be a shakeout. Right. There's obviously with a narrative like this, there's a bunch of people that are going to be stacking longs. There's going to be a massive liquidity pool yeah. underneath right. that they're going to soak up before going up. I would assume being a trader, that's what I'm looking for. Right. So uh, personally, I spent weeks um, DCAing into a long position that right. whole time that we were going down, got the breakout, took my profits, hopped out. Now I'm looking at, I'm in no positions currently right now, yeah. but I am looking to do about the same thing. Maybe come back down to 27, three, yeah. 27, so, four. Yeah, I went to, I went to buying daily and then, yeah, like, and, like, then, and then flipped some above 31K there, which is yeah. good. So it's just spot trading and DCA. I haven't even really been watching the charts too much personally, but this is, I want to get back to the weekly here and just have a look at what's going on. So this is what I'm talking about, the chance of catching this support. So this was the, this was that major, you know, dump we had in 2021, uh, before the major bull run to 69 K, uh, when we hit the bottom of $28,000 there. Right. So this was a long time spent building trade volume. This back here was a long time spent building trade volume. And this is where we've spent the last few months, couple of months, building some more volume. So I believe more like volume said, than have, anywhere else this year. If yeah. You, if you so, bring up the VRBP. Like I said, there, there's, there's a chance that we catch that support here, you know, at the bottom of this resistance, like we did in the past here, mm -hmm. uh, and and send another. Well, it doesn't seem to want to go below 30. Large leg up. Like it's been bouncing off 30 
so many times. Right. So that's what I'm watching for. And again, if we go to the to the RSI on the weekly RSI, we're above 60%. So we could be catching support here on 60%. This looks really strong to me still. The the weekly RSI. We're going to go over to the monthly RSI. And again, like I said, we have that break above 50% RSI here. We have a really nice established trend on the monthly. We have mm -hmm. a really nice established trend on the monthly RSI. You know, so what we're waiting mm -hmm. for is this confirmation, in my opinion, a confirmation of a break above 50% RSI on the monthly chart because mm -hmm. we've seen it on every chart below that, mm -hmm. right? So this is going to be the validation of a run or the invalidation and the, the rejection on the monthly chart first, mm -hmm. right? So we've seen it all it, it, from January until now. We've seen it happen, and you probably could have watched it right from the 30-second chart all the way through to now we're mm -hmm. getting the weekly chart or the monthly, sorry, caught mm -hmm. up to all this, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, Yeah, it was interesting, like you said, the, the narrative has flipped. So should we be skeptical is the question. And honestly, like if you, if you look at that, it, it, it looks very bullish. Like you said, that's, that's bullish market structure. We're putting in higher lows yeah. and we're putting in higher highs yeah. moving forward. But now we have companies like BlackRock, the biggest uh, investment firm in the world, holds the most money, over $9 trillion in assets. <laughs> ridiculous. And if they decide to put even one percent in, we're gonna we're looking at doubling doubling the price of Bitcoin overnight. Yeah, it's like what is that even? Like, so it's on. it's crazy, right? But this is the kind of thing that they do to make you to take your money, to make you yeah. feel like this is this is where we're going. So I, 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 although we believe in the long term, Bitcoin will be everything it will take over the, the, the financial system that we have today we have to kind of be a little bit skeptical when they're telling you about it in the mainstream media mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we had about six seven years ago the exact same people forbes and all this telling you that bitcoin was bad it was not good it was terrible for the environment etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. it's not efficient it's not going to work now we have literally in the last week they've published i believe four or five articles that were front page news of their uh, article saying the exact opposite. Bitcoin's good for the environment. Yeah. It's going to be the new thing. So this is kind of making That's, me skeptical. It's also it's also because you know with the things like social media, the people who are mining Bitcoin on their own and they're able to do it off grid using different sources of energy and things like that. When they, the people are publishing it on their own. Like I said, whatever the masses do, exactly. whatever the people steer yeah. towards is where the narrative steers they towards. Have they no have choice. no choice. And that's how they we make We have the, money, the numbers. You guys right? can't forget that. We have the numbers. So, whatever we choose to do, they have to. Yeah. They have so, to do. And now they're, oh, shit. Okay, well, now we're, we're 13 years deep. Bitcoin ain't going anywhere. anywhere and, yeah. now, and now people are exposing the fact that it's better for the environment. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. We, can, we yeah. can actually do it well, Because energy, before it was right? just all FUD. Yeah. So, and now they flip it. They're gonna build some hype and maybe and maybe pump this thing a little further. But the one thing that what you know people need to be aware of too is that they can't just scoop it all up. They're not just gonna come in and scoop it all up. Mm -hmm. It ain't too late for you to get in. They don't own it all. It's not too high priced. No. You know, no, there's I mean? only there's only like 160 million yeah. on exchanges. So and there's there's not that much available. And that's why and I the, say if they went for one percent, it would double the price. And by design. Its production is going to still last another 107 years. So yeah. 2130 so, is when the last Bitcoin right. will be printed, right. if we make it that long. So, un so unlike traditional finance, if they wanted to go buy up an entire New York block or an entire London block for billions or trillions of dollars, they, they could. They could. Well, I mean, with the they yeah, could. They can't do that with Bitcoin. No, what I'm saying with in the, traditional with, finance, yes. if they wanted to do that, they yeah. could. With Bitcoin, they can't exactly. do that. And right. So that's what gives everybody a chance. It's designed yeah. to make yeah. everybody have an equal playing field. Doesn't matter how much money you have. There's only so much available yeah. at a certain time. Yeah. And if you want to put that much money into it, it's going to cost you, and it's going to yeah. make you're going to it's going to make the people that are already holding it that much more richer because you're going to have to buy it off them at a premium if you want to buy it for that much. Right. You can't. As soon, there's only a limited. Supply supply and when the demand goes up the price goes up yeah. it's plain and simple so if they want to buy that much more they they have to buy it from you or me we or the people that, that are buying it we should show people that, that are holding it show that meme of the the scientist too because yeah you know the, G, the legends yeah like yeah say so we'll pop it up right here it, one yeah one btc is always going to equal one btc yeah and eventually because of its efficiency and by design it will become the most commonly used, in my opinion. Okay, like, well, we could be totally 100%, 100%. wrong. 100%, 100%. It, it just makes complete already, sense. We're already we're already seeing it going that way. The fact of the so. matter is, is that if you are given a dollar, if there was only one dollar in the world that was loaned out, it's loaned out at a dollar twenty-five. So that's twenty-five percent interest. And then where does that twenty-five 
where does that 25 cents come from or whatever? Like, it doesn't exist, right? So they, so then, okay, so we have to print more money to, to pay that interest off. So mm-hmm. now there's two dollars in the system, Debt but but now we but now we owe 250 to the system. So the only way to, to pay that interest off is to print more money. And we've been doing this for a hundred years. And we're what, 30 trillion in debt? And and now there's there's only I think nine trillion dollars left and there's thirty plus trillion dollars in debt. Like it's it's astronomical. And that's, not even, that's not even like you know, like the the pensions and the like the non. No, this is this is how much money is available to, in the system for them to pay off these debts. But the fact of the yeah. matter is, is there's nowhere near enough money in the system to pay off the existing debt. Yeah. So their only choice is to print money, yeah. and that's how the system works. It's and every literally... time they print money, it go it makes Bitcoin worth yeah. more because Bitcoin is a scarce and a controlled. Uh, asset with a capped supply, and they complete. They continue just to, to just run the supply up of what it's compared to. Play so, Monopoly with your kids, and don't go easy on them. Yeah. <laughs> like it's literally the same fucking thing. Yeah. So it's it's literally it's there's only one way out. Okay, they're gonna try and manipulate and mine F you the whole the whole way there to try and make sure that they can maintain control because that's what it's all about for them. It's control. It's influence. It's all the stuff that they want to. Um, you make sure that they can and as long as they, change at any time yeah. if they want to. And right? as long as they have the attention on them, they'll be the ones that make money. Because attention is the true currency, right? Yeah. If people aren't paying attention and buying into your shit, then it's not worth anything. Yeah, it so doesn't I, matter what it is. Attention is the only true fucking currency, in my opinion. Uh, right? uh, yeah, and, and well, just to second that, just look at what gold's done in the last yeah. 10 years. So, Nobody cares about gold. So when this is happening... That's why it's not ever going to be so, worth any more yeah, than so $2,000 an ounce. When this is happening, be careful. If 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 the media is what finally gets you into Bitcoin, great. But be careful. Yeah. With what well, the that's okay though, because you're gonna you're you. gonna end up buying a top, but it won't yeah. be the top. Like there is no such thing as the top no. in Bitcoin. No. It's okay. It's all about time in the yeah. market. There's when no you top, get in, there's no bottom. When you get in, it doesn't matter when you get in. You just want to get in. Like it, the, the the time in the market is gonna be what's gonna pay off for you. You're gonna if you buy at at, at a time in the market when euphoric. Uh, state is very high, then you're probably going to have to wait a long time yeah. before you're in the profit. But it's but it's also it's it's designed to handle these people's greed too. So if they if they're buying up as much as they can, like if if if, if they spent say they wanted to buy a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin or a few billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, they immediately lo- immediately will lose money because people will sell. Yeah. Right. So if they buy up a whole bunch, they take a loss immediately because the people are going to sell and it's going to and it's going to mm-hmm. actually bring the price of Bitcoin down. Mm-hmm. It'll pump it real quick, but it'll come down. They're going to take a loss on that. Mm-hmm. But they wouldn't even care because the idea is to just accumulate as much as possible. So they know but, what to do. But because of that, they dollar cost average, just as we tell you to do. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's why we see that's the only way to that's do why it. we see these long sideways patterns. Like people are like, oh, it's been going sideways for a couple of months. It's like, no, it's been going sideways for a couple of years. So you can see when institutional investors started getting interested in Bitcoin. Meanwhile, now, we, while you were distracted, and by now, the way, that's 2020 and 2021. Yeah, so, and now all they're going to do, yeah, so this is the last couple of years, a few years. Where does this go back to? That's 2020, 2020 right there. Yeah. So I, I know that wick when I see yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. That's March 2020 wick. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Anyway, so you can see it's been going sideways for the last couple going into a few years here, right? But it's going to continue to go up and to the right like it always has and always will because they're going to continue to accumulate just as we mm-hmm. we do, right? So, mm-hmm. um, you know, we will see a higher high, but, the you know, the question is when. You know, this is probably going to get into easier trends than this. Like, I don't... It's going to get more stable. We're not going to see this for a, another no. couple of years. There's a reason right? why... 2020 happened there's a reason why the whole entire world shut down okay that that was the biggest market manipulation we have ever seen in in our lifetime or in in human civilization probably just because they could though yeah, just and just please, could. please don't forget that, folks. Like yeah. all that was BS. And it and was all in the, all market manipulation. In the, in the time when people were doing the absolute least they ever have. Yeah. No production whatsoever. More money was made than yeah. Ever. Yeah, and the and the people talk about a lot of things they did talk about too is like how many millionaires and how many billionaires. Oh, there's so many new yeah. millionaires, so many new billionaires. It's yeah. like, well, guess what? It's not really that special to be a millionaire anymore. No, like arguably, I'm a millionaire. It doesn't really doesn't really make a difference. I'm still working every day. I still have to. <laughs> yeah, like it's not a, nobody cares. Like yeah. millionaire is nothing. Like there's yeah okay there's like it's because the 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 value of the currency is is no longer as as yeah. valuable as it was before. Yeah, like, so, it doesn't and it's make like, any difference. And, and even millionaires and billionaires they don't talk about cash 
cash because they don't they don't hold it in cash because no. it's not fucking worth fuck. No. So they're actually worth Your assets are worth way more than they are yeah. in in their cash flow because you got to get rid of that nobody's cash. Nobody's keeping cash liquidity because no. it's because just, it, it you well it's not it's worth not not yeah. worth the paper it's printed on. It's bad business. It's terrible, right? You yeah. can't hold cash anymore. Right? All these all these movies and stuff. And that micro, we see, the thing the one thing I was going to say when all the stocks and everything went down, micro strategies because of their strategy, uh, you know, it's a, it's a tech company, a software company, or whatever. But their stock did really well because he was taking all of his positive cash flow and putting it into Bitcoin. So people wanted shares of his company mm -hmm. because they, did, they weren't investing in, in Bitcoin mm -hmm. or taking on the risk. He mm -hmm. was, mm -hmm. right? But and, oh, but, and also his stability yeah. because that there's a, maybe they don't want to expose themselves to something that's questionable. Yeah. But either way, they expose themselves a little bit to him. Mm -hmm. And he's also got his uh, software business to back it up if and if if need be. Mm -hmm. But like realistically, the reason why they had to do that is because there's no Bitcoin ETF yet. So they couldn't buy Bitcoin for themselves right. on a large scale. So yeah, we, we talked about the, la the last time we had a, an episode too is, is you know, that's that ETF. So the ETF is what caused this pump right yeah. here, right? And but like, like I said, there was nothing to, to write home about that because they're they're going to continue to reject. It's just not time to have it go in because if they don't do it at the having cycle when Bitcoin productions work, it does fuck all for them, yeah. right? Like, you know. Well, I mean, so, it's, a, it's an accumulation phase right now. The yeah. micro the mar market goes in cycles, and it's always been the same. Right now, we're still in accumulation phase, maybe just yeah. the beginning of a bull run. So, but here's still, my other confusing line chart that I had for you guys. Um, but anyway, I, I know I had a lot of spider webs and and all the, it, this in there, but this was a very significant trend, uh, a set of trend lines that I had laid out, and you can see that we've made contact in this little spotlight ray here for quite some time. <clears throat> and like I said, we did have a chance to to stay above that resistance, that red resistance in the fib chart that I showed you, mm -hmm. and now we you can see we've got this this red line here that goes back, you mm -hmm. know quite a ways. Well, yeah, so, for for uh, whatever reason, whether it's probably right around thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, for whatever reason, it has bounced off thirty thousand over and over and over again. Every single time yeah. it goes, like there is somebody with a huge order so, at thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, there was a chance that we just see this plateau. You know, if we well, can, best case scenario, if we just can goes, hold this yeah. this next spot ray spotlight kind of trend line here, Ray, you know, then maybe we get into this line is what I'm thinking, and that's when we would see that thirty two six hundred fib level. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. Well, okay, so here, let's so. See, let's let's put a scenario out right now. So, maybe, so they, they, that's the bullish case. They but so listen to this scenario. They put out the um, the ETF whatever uh, what's it called Pro proposal. Yeah, they, they put out the ET ETF proposal. It got denied. Then they put out another ETF pr pr proposal. Yeah, it got denied. The I think right also away. twelve or thirteen other big corporation company investment firms put out an ETF uh, proposal. All got denied. Mm. So if we see just one. Or even just the talk about one potentially getting approved. Mm -hmm. There's obviously only like I think I think with the but, race with so many different people so, that the finance financial system is controlled by a small few. They're not going to let all these other people get in before the guy gets in. So this is a this is a prime example of buy the rumor, sell the news. Yeah. Okay. The rumor was the spot ETF. That's this big giant green candle. Yeah. Okay? Now the news is. Bitcoin's good for the environment. And yeah, it's really good for you. And exactly. All this. That's why I'm saying so, we should be skeptical. So skeptical about this, what's going this on. This could right be now. the prime example of buy the rumor, sell the news. Because if they have the truth and in the information and they give it to you late, it's not like they weren't telling you the truth, but they gave you the information late the, mm -hmm. after they benefited from it. Yeah, first, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So we want to be a part of that benefit. Right? So so it could go back down to 25k, and then the news is going to be all, oh, Bitcoin's going to zero again, mm -hmm. and then everyone's going to get scared of the market. Meanwhile, they're going to scoop up another DCA. They're going to Take another DCA out of the market. Big old D. Boom, right? Because they're on. A, they're on, yeah, yeah. You got to think about it. Like they're on another level. Excuse me. Than than the rest of us. Like when they're when they're DCAing, we're talking like millions, you know, yeah. at a time. Yeah. Or maybe a bunch of tiny and little. They, and it, what, that's what it is. The, so they got somebody sitting there that they pay to freaking and fucking yeah. make a hundred trades a day or. Yeah you know, X amount of trades a day, whatever it may be, but they buy in increments. They buy and sell in increments. Mm -hmm. They they buy into the markets and they they sell mm -hmm. into the markets, mm -hmm. right? So these long plateaus here, this is this is like, you know, bit larger, larger time frame watchers, 
you know, taking profits, right, before mm-hmm. this thing goes up again. So mm-hmm. when everyone's like, oh, it's boring, it's boring, it's coming down, it's coming down, and then... But that hit that, hit that 25K perfectly, like yeah. perfectly. But here's the bottom... Like we, we set it for months. Bottom from December, right? We're in this spotlight between the green support line and this orange major resistance at the top, right? So yeah. we've been here for six months. Well, and the good thing trend. is that a head and shoulders has been... Um, has been eradicated Seven or whatever. Months. Like you, you haven't, there's no, there's no, like a lot of people were thinking while we were going down, yeah. oh, we're going to drop back down to 20 and it's going to be a head and shoulders. It's going to take us down back down to 15. Yeah. It's like, well, that has been invalidated already because because of that large wick. So I think, or sorry, gonna, because of that large candle. I think we're going to stay above this line here. This one I just made highlighted. Well, it, it's, it seems to be pretty clear that nobody, there's somebody out there that doesn't want us to go below 30 because the, every time it gets into the 30 range, it just yeah. fires back up. So here, so there is there's a large order right around thirty thousand. Here's the 20, and, 2017, 2018 bull run high, right? Which is a twenty thousand, right? And then and that's that's the resistance of these and, and the support of this other bull run mm. from, from the last few nice. years. Nice, so like we're in the channel there, so, so we're like back said, into that range. This channel here, but then the the trend that we're in from this year, the orange line here right. is is so top, barring top barring a so. global recession, we're looking good. If something comes out, uh, some sort of WW3, something extreme happens, which we're, we've been on the brink of every day for the last 30 or 40 years, uh, nuclear war, day. who knows, right? It, it's all smoke and mirrors, right? You got you to gotta, yeah. remember this. Like it, it's, it, the, the best and easiest way that I can explain this for most people to, to uh, recognize it and, and, and uh, be confident with it or uh, understand it is the housing market. Everybody always gets told, "Oh, don't wait. The housing market's going to crash. Don't like just like you know wait wait for a minute. There's a bubble. Blah blah blah. blah. Like don't wow. buy a house today. Like it's like it does do that though. But it's not the the, the housing market crashed. Two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Oh, okay, so you're talking like twenty years ago. Well, the, well how long? Well, wasn't even fifteen years ago. Do you, are you aware of the crash that we went through in the last year compared to the two thousand eight crash? Yeah, but it didn't, nowhere it, near. Yeah, but look what happened to the housing market during that. It so I, I, I'm just saying Nothing. that I'm just saying that if you owned, if you were a part of that, you so in, you were a, you were a part of a instead of, of like my house got hosed instead in, of my in, house in going up eight to ten percent in value, it only went up two. Yeah, but you you were just a part of, di- of a different generation. Is all I'm saying. I know. So if you if you unfortunately bought or whatever, like right in those times, you got yeah. hosed. Yeah, right? of course. So. And but the point that I'm trying to make is that it's all of them just saying like they're trying to keep you out of the market. The, yeah. the housing market it, it's compared to the U.S. dollar. Anything that's compared to the U.S. dollar will never crash. Yeah. It may have a correction because it got overheated, but it's always going up and to the right. So there's no there's really no bad time to get into anything, any asset. That's yeah. what we've been trying to tell you the whole time. Bitcoin is just the, the new chance for our generation because it's at least tangible even though it's at thirty thousand dollars a coin houses are a million dollars where we live yeah. like literally a single family home is a million dollars where we live it's ridiculous yeah we live in, don't come to canada folks well, unless you can afford it yeah 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 i don't know yeah right <laughs> the best now, kept secret in the world i was looking at there's actually some of those townhouses up by the bruce king there they were like they're under seven, six fifty or something. Oh, like that. under seven. So two stories to hell now. So I mean, like under right, seven. Right, but right now we're suffering the, the the effects of the last couple of years. So right now it's actually it's more it's definitely more to the buyers market right now than it is the. Sellers. But the interest rates market. screws that over. Well, yeah, of course. They, they, yeah. everybody's screwed right now. They're yeah. they're trying they're trying to make they're trying to slow everything yeah. down. But so it's it's nobody's still market have to buy right now. Houses, right? I of mean, course, you still need a house to live. But the thing is, is that the the person that's trying to buy a house for their family has to compete against an investor. So the, what they're trying to do is push the investors out so that that regular people and, and push the regular people up in, they're in, they're in tighter, trying but they can't buildings. do that they can't do that with the monetary, monetary policy that we oh, have today so bitcoin weird. solves that problem because those guys that are literally just trying to uh put their money into something so it doesn't lose value can mm. can buy bitcoin instead of yeah. buying city blocks well, the thing is and putting people the, on the streets the thing is is though is that the longer bitcoin continues like this the less value of those city blocks hopefully hopefully yes oh it'll slowly erode everything exactly that's the whole point that's why you have to be diversified i own property but i also dca into bitcoin because i see where the future is going and it diversifies it's the key yes because the money's got to go somewhere we can't it's uh, although we are continuing to print money and you kind of feel like it's going to be like a spider web and just kind of go out because of bitcoin it is all going to come to it's all coming back now if you look and if you even look at the supply of Bitcoin, the, the supply of Bitcoin has peaked and it's starting to go down because because we're every single having there's left less available 
during the halving. And the supply or the demand is continuing to go up. There's been no stop or pause or plateau at all at the de- with the demand of Bitcoin. It continues to go up and the supply continues to go down. Mm-hmm. So there's only one explanation for that equation, and that is that the price will go up. The price will become at a premium because of the supply and demand equation. And that's just how that works because of the system that we all abide by today, which blows my mind how many people don't want to pay attention to it, but it's like, you, you gotta, you gotta start paying attention to this. You can't just ignore it. It's not going to go anywhere, whether it affects your groceries you're or, whether, too broke you, not to pay or whether you're a high quality investor, like you got to pay attention. Don't look away folks uh ha- make sure you're having a good time enjoy your summer but this is like 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 we said the narrative has flipped something's going on here and we could like we said you know months ago the panic buys are going to start happening and we could very well see a $10,000 jump in the price of bitcoin in the matter of hours uh, we could you know, like don't fomo in continue to dca but this kind of stuff is definitely possible let us know what you think In the comments below, if you haven't already, like the video. If you like Julian's shirt, like the video. (laughs) Sats a day keeps the inflation away. Yeah, that's right. Keep stacking sats and sats a day. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, bigs and bogs out. (laughs) Peace. Peace. (laughs) Plug the hats too. There's hats in the description. You can go to Shirley Sound Hats store. (laughs) Should do some leather patches for some hats. Oh yeah, totally. Thank you.